Good morning. Hello, hello. I hope the microphones work today. Yeah. <laughs> that editing was a real pain. <laughs> These kick episodes are supposed to be easy. No editing. No editing, just <laughs> film and go. <laughs> Not so much yesterday. No. All right, we're gonna take you into the basement area of the farmhouse because this is where I spent a good portion of the day. I let this adjust here. We got the second freezer going. I put in this conduit and outlets. Oh, you can't see it. There's outlets there, I promise you. <laughs> so we now have, there's two separate outlets there, one for each freezer. We now have power down here. Yes. We got freezer number two. So today we're gonna somehow fill it up with some sort of ice. Water. Water, something, let it freeze so we can yep. use it for the ice bath on Saturday. Yep. We got all of our tables and everything ready that we'll just need to pull them out for processing day. Mm -hmm. Are we gonna, I guess we could just use just those two. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because I was going to take all of the um, stuff that's on the <laughs> other foldable tables off. That's but yeah, let's just use those. Yeah. Because my plan is today to get everything set up and tested and make sure that we're good to go for Saturday. So that way, if we're not, then I have tomorrow to, um, to fix things. To adjust. To adjust. And I think we're probably just going to do the processing like right here. Oh, okay. Because it's close to where the chickens are and it doesn't get early morning sun. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a nice, cool place to do it. We have access to running water. There's a spigot inside that room. Yep. And then if we need power, which we'll probably need power. Yes. Um, I can There's run an no extension power. cord from that room too. So I'll just come out here and Hi, boys. not sure where I'm going to place the cones, the, the kill cones. We can probably put them on a tree. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might do it on the tree that doesn't have a bunch of poison ivy vines what? hanging from it. You know, you, you know, know me, you're so risk adverse. Me, me and me and <laughs> poison anti poison ivy. <laughs> so weird. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, and then I want to. We should be getting the gates for the fencing up at the hoop coops today or tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm hoping that we can get the fencing set up and then move these guys up there, up to the hoop coops, mm -hmm. if that would work out. Yeah. Or at least I could move this setup up there just so they're out of here and then we can have all of the chickens closer yeah. together. For... I want to separate, put a, one or two of these with the girls and hopefully they, they all get along, um, but start separating them out because in about a month they'll be about four and a half months old. And that's approximately when they start getting the, is it the testosterone and the male stuff where oh, the if they're gonna have aggression, um, we'll start noticing it. So I just need to start, we need to start separating these boys because I want to make sure that we don't ever put them in a situation where there's too many of them yeah. and they start fighting. So we're almost to that age. So we're gonna have to start putting them in different areas okay. um, and getting them separated out. But the, oh. Let's one see. of them will go with these Rhode Island red girls, but they're way too young. Uh -huh. And one is going to go with the other girls in the hoop coop. And then I think I want to introduce one to our main flock. Oh, okay. Because uh, we definitely need another rooster. What are we going to do with Richard? Um, you can have multiple roosters uh, in a flock, but yeah. he'll probably just chill for now. Okay, he, so he's going to stay with this? Yeah, he'll stay with the main flock. Okay. Oops. I'm gonna go check on the broody girls. Yeah, we haven't looked in on them. Did we remember to set a calendar? I think we still need to go back and no, I didn't. figure out exactly. I thought about it like four times yesterday. <laughs> and I was like, okay, in the evening, when I have access I'm to the remember. computer, I'm going to- uh, Oh, it's like she's on top of the water. I'm going to check on the date that we put them in there mm -hmm. from a kick log, but I didn't. But I did set a reminder for something else that was important, but had nothing to do with the chickens. They're going to have to be moved in a couple days. Yep. And when we say we haven't checked on these, 
girls, we do every day. Twice a day, yeah. three times a day, four just, times a day, but. We haven't put it on video. Yeah, we haven't shared. So we've got three girls in here. We've got Karen, Donna, and Sage. And, ready? Oh, Karen. Oh, Donna, where are you going? Donna's laying on six. I think Karen has a few. And then... A latch in there. Oops. Is that not right? Right in the corner. There you go. And then Sage. Sage has been, like, a, she doesn't hardly ever leave. <laughs> yeah, you she, know you have a broody hen. What? And they're super fluffy, fluffy. Yeah. I think she's laying on about nine. Oh, boy. These were Karen's. Yeah, they swapped. They swapped. So we put Karen over here by herself because she's a second time mom. This one's hard to get because it's... Oh, you did it. Okay. Uh, and we thought that the other two first time moms would be over here. Uh-oh. Oh. oh, never mind. That's not. That's a different one. <laughs> yeah. Right. They're locked in there. That's they her got, sister. They got water and they got food. Yeah. Every once in a while, I'll see them down there eating and, mm -hmm. and drinking, but not very often. They're they're um, doing a good job on their broody. Yep. And we broodiness. just have it shut and we move it, but we have it shut because we don't want the other hens going in there and trying to lay. Like mm -hmm. she'll go down right now and get some food and some water. And eat the grass, so we try to move or move them so that they have fresh grass and fresh area. Because they come down here and potty. I went in to add new bedding yesterday just to make sure it was... Ooh, Oops. That, you didn't use the ramp, girl. There's a ramp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Donna. There's a song about that. Oh, Donna. Oh. My mom knows how, that How song. does it go? Shush. <laughs> I'm not known for my singing skills. <laughs> All right. So you did the electric. Yeah, I'm. I, you know, I've I've been doing electric for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I was super proud of myself for getting that done, and setting those things up, and wired it correctly, and they tested correctly, and the AFCI works, the GFCI works, the refrigerator, the freezers work. All the CIs work. All the. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I thought I don't know. I it was it was a, a, a it was a good accomplishment for me. Thank you. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Pat myself on my back. So, all right. Well, what else is new, Katie? Uh, well, in the fowl, um, <laughs> uh, we got our baby goslings today. They're super cute. They are super cute. With their big webbed feet and their big beaks. beaks and, they're super awkward. Uh huh. They're like. Dur, 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 dur. And we'll tell you all about it, but we're not going to show you because you're going to have to watch Kramer Life video, Aww. which we won't. It won't be too long before that one comes out, but Teaser. we're not going to we're not going to show you here because they're super cute. You got to watch the video. <laughs> they're they're so cute. We're not going to show you. Uh -huh. Yep. <laughs> all right. I don't know what else. Um, what else? Huh. I mean, it's pretty much what we did yesterday. Yeah. I released a video, Kramer Life video yesterday. So really I didn't start until the, on the electrical until like one o'clock in the afternoon because of mm -hmm. kick and because of mm -hmm. that. So it was just the electrical work. And yeah. and then I went over to the field that we had. Um, oh yeah, you started cutting. Yeah, so I went over there to get just some charcoal um, for the pigs and brought the lawnmower with us with me and then I just got into a mowing kick like I'm gonna I think we're gonna walk over there okay so man it's crazy how the weeds just take over so quickly but I started mowing and it was really hard because there's rocks you know there's there's big boulder rocks that are in the ground then there's rocks that are Hi, girls. Hi. Oh, oh. Well, hello. Well, hello. Hi, girls. <laughs> What's going on? Hmm? <laughs> They're like, uh, breakfast? Breakfast? We got a little bit of breakfast. Forage. You're, you're free range. Go forage. Go forth and find your food. Go forage. Are you the friendly one? You are. Where are you going? Where are you going? 
<laughs> so there's big boulders, there's rocks, and then there's these huge, you know, the, the pieces of wood from all of the trees that he downed. So it makes it really hard to mow. So you have to mow at like the highest level and then go back and mow at a lower level so that way you can actually see what you're mowing. Yeah. But I'm just looking at the overwhelmingness of this, <laughs> of this area. And all of the things like the helanthus trees, they're coming back. Oh yeah. In, in vengeance. So Which was, we were, we knew that was a very strong possibility, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's gonna take a while to rehabilitate this area. You can see, you can see where I mowed and where I didn't. Like, you know, obviously I didn't mow right here, but I did here, right? So I was having fun mowing, but then I was thinking, why don't we just move the pigs over here? And let's, you know, uh, fence it in kind of, move the pigs over here, and also fence it in enough to where we can just have tons of chickens. You just have them just free range. Go nuts. And just go nuts. The only thing is I don't know about, you know, this type of weed. Some of the stuff is not good for animals. Right. So that's, that's the reason is like, it's not just an obvious. Right. Because we wanted to put the pigs in here and have them go through and kind of smash in and work and get the pond going mm -hmm. or seal up the pond. And I think they would love it. They would have so much fun in there. Oh yeah. Be the biggest wallow. The, the, the pigs. The geese would also love oh, the it. The geese would love it too, but they're little, they've got to wait a little bit. Yeah. And then, yeah, I'd like to get it all sealed. So we do have an area where the geese can roam and go and not have to have little kiddie pools everywhere and let them actually go into the, where we have it. Yeah, you can see where, like, where yeah. I mowed, where I didn't mow. Yeah, it's very. Yeah, so it's just gonna be one of those where you just have to keep up on it the mm -hmm. best we can. And yeah. and then I think if we if we don't move the animals over, some animals over here, then maybe this winter, when things die down, come in here, scrape it, get all of this big pieces of, of wood burn it and then i don't know if tilling's the right thing to do like i'm just wondering if we just overseed it and just put cover crops down mm -hmm, yeah. and i think the wood i mean the wood, wood will decompose in there it's just it's yeah if, if we're going to till you have to get yeah. this otherwise but if we're just going to seed i mean i still think we should scrape up some of the big stuff burn it and then we can spread the mm -hmm. you know ash and stuff. the ash but I don't know, it's like, I know there's... All sorts of options. Different ways of doing things, yep. right? And I would like to do the non-chemical, non-breaking yeah. of the soil stuff, but at the same time, it's like, a, it's yeah. just, so. It's, I'm just wondering if we just put a really good heavy cover crop, if that'll smother out the weeds, and then we don't have to worry about it as much. Um, Cause we really were just thinking we wanted this as like pasture. Mm -hmm. So I don't, not as garden area, so right, right. I don't know if it does actually needs to be tilled or not. So I guess the path of least resistance. Yeah, because you know the uh, Milton from the Ag Service, he was saying, you know, constantly till it and break it up and mm -hmm. kill the weeds and don't let them let them grow. And then I was talking to Billy from Permapastures Farm. He's like, yeah, that's one way of doing it, but there's al there's alternatives right. that aren't so destructive. Right. I'm sure running, you know, animals, cover crops, yep. that kind of stuff. So. It's just a different perspective, right? Mm -hmm. Of big agriculture versus permaculture. Right. And everyone has ideas and both scenarios will work. It's just what will work in our scenario. Cause we know that a lot of this is toxic to animals. Correct. Right. And so like we'll I put the sheep back here because of that. Right. We'll cover crops. Like once it's mowed down and once it's dormant, mm -hmm. if we heavily seed, will that suppress it enough? to where we don't, it's not gonna come back, right? And mm -hmm. that's kind of what we're trying to figure out. Right, yep. Because we don't wanna invest in all of the cover crops and all of seeding if this is gonna be stronger mm -hmm. and exactly. come back right. and overtake the grasses and then we still don't have an area to use for our animals. Right, yep. So it's always the the fun learning curve. Oh man, that's right, a just, Yeah, that's Atlantis. This Yikes. is Atlantis here. Oh, all of this is Atlantis, yep. <laughs> Here's Atlantis. Yikes. Here's Atlantis. Like it's, <laughs> it's all over. Yeah. So yeah, this is gonna be a battle. It'll be, 
it'll be a, a fun battle. But it does look way nicer than yes. it did this time last year. Yes. I think it's just going to be figuring out how to how to effectively take out the Alanthus because we've now tried a couple different ways where mm -hmm. we've cut into it and sprayed them. We've just ripped them out. Mm -hmm. um, I think burning's probably the next option. Yeah. Or slicing them down, like literally just sh chopping them off and then putting the stuff on the, like sealing it, putting the pesticide, not pesticide, but the herbicide, herbicide on the on the actual stump is mm -hmm. like, those are kind of the next two. One of the things I was thinking is, you know, when Dan was out here, he was like, man, if I had a subsoiler, it could go through and just drag the subsoiler through the ground because mm -hmm. that doesn't till the ground. Mm -hmm. It just breaks up all the roots oh. in the ground. Interesting. Yeah. So I was like, oh, let's just get a, a giant tractor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a subsoiler and just start making rows and just break up all of the roots that are in mm -hmm. here, killing the vines, killing yeah. the Alanthus and but, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. And it's one of those that's the tractor has been on our list for a while. And a lot of people are like, just buy one, just buy one. We just don't have the finances right now to make, be able to afford the payments yeah. along with our mortgage and along with the rest of our outgoing expenses. Right. And so while we know <laughs> buying a tractor, we're not gonna lose money on it, we just, <laughs> Kinsley. What's she doing? She, she was just running through, the, <laughs> running through the pond. Happy girl. Um, but we just, we understand, you know, the benefits of the tractor and yes, we know we need one. But right now we've, we've you know, looked at our <laughs> finances and we've looked at what we can afford to comfortably spend a month and unless we were to get something really, really small that really wouldn't do mm -hmm. a whole lot of the projects that we're looking to do, um, we just aren't able to make that work. Some of the financing has gone down, which is good because uh, we were looking and interest rates were so high. Um, so I think it's just a, it's, it's gonna be a timing thing yeah. where we can. Yeah, like right now, I saw an ad when I was watching some YouTube stuff late last night and Mead Tractor, which is nation, like not quite nationwide, but it's all over the place. Mm -hmm. Right now they have a spring sale where they're doing 0% 60 month mm. financing. Financing, But <laughs> do we have that avail availability right now? Is right. it really something that we, I don't know. It's one of the things. Plus it's also analysis paralysis maybe, but am I going to get a tractor? Am I going to get a compact track loader? Am I going to get a backhoe? Like, has all of those have different values? Have different values. Yeah. And given the amount of woods that we have, it's like a track hoe or backhoe or a compact track loader would help us a lot with the forest stuff. Mm -hmm. The compact track loader, you can get attachments for all of the farming stuff. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit more expensive, but then the a little, <laughs> a little. But but the tractor, you can get the implements. But it's not quite as good for the forestry work and so we have a like it's just one of those where yeah and we have to remember we have 58 acres of forest we only have approximately now two acres of cleared land when we moved here it was maybe half an acre of cleared land and so we're slowly bringing that back but weighing the cost of having somebody come out and clear for you versus yeah. you doing it yourself is a huge difference yeah it, it, it is but it's also the time so again you're weighing right, convenience exactly. and necessity out of you know what i'm gonna be spending so it's all of those things that we're constantly contemplating and thinking about and uh oh oh levi Sorry for yelling at you. Hey. Come here, Levi. They're not toys. Come on. They get excited and start playing and then they get too close to the chickens. And then the chickens <laughs> run and then Levi's like, oh, we're playing. He hasn't quite mastered. No. He's, he's really good, but he does chase them a little more than we'd like. Good boys, come on. <laughs> Happy boy. <laughs> He's like, I was just playing. I was just playing. Yeah. So. Yes, 
just a puppy. He's not even a year old yet. He's getting so big. He's getting big. He's finally getting big. He hit, he hit his growth spurt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well. Okay. Yeah, I think I have a busy, busy day at work today. Yeah. And you're gonna be testing and getting everything ready for the weekend. Yep. And then I think tomorrow our plan is going to be starting to clean up the house. Yeah, we, uh, we, we can talk more about that tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. with that, <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. You're such a good boy. You are, you're just such a good boy. <laughs> hey, will you do me a favor? Will you tell Levi to not chase the chickens? <laughs> <laughs>